Now with our custom classes inside of here, let's come over to slidingpanels.css. Let's scroll down to the bottom. What we're going to do here is let's target the video panel and video tab since we have those set to open by default. So first we'll do the tab. So dot sp space dot tabs space dot video dot selected. Put in our brackets. First property is going to be color. Pound sign FFC E6F. It's going to give us a yellowish gold color. Next we'll do background color. Pound sign 3A3. 563. That'll give us a dark violet color. And then lastly, border bottom, one pixel, solid. And we'll pick the same color as the background. Let's copy that, paste it down here, then hit a semicolon. Next, let's target the actual panel. So dot sp space dot panels space dot video space dot panel content beginning and ending bracket we're going to set the background property inside of here background colon first property URL parentheses inside of the parentheses we're going to target the images directory so we're inside of includes so we need to do dot dot slash to come out to root images slash video underscore background dot jpeg next we'll set the no repeat then zero pixels on the x and zero pixels on the y axis next line let's come up here and let's copy this rule name let's hit paste then hit a space let's target the h2's set our brackets we're going to set the color of H2s to black. Next line. Let's paste in the beginning part of our rule. Hit a space. Then add P. Target the paragraph tags. We're going to set color on these to white. Next rule. Space A. We're going to target the links. We're going to set the color to pound sign. FFC E6F and then hit save. So again, each one of these rules is targeting the panel content only if it's inside of a class called video and then we can specify all of these colors. And the colors we're picking here are designed to match the background graphic that we're assigning up in here. So make sure all of your files are saved. Let's come back out to the browser and let's reload this. So now we can see the selected state has all of the colors we specified. We can see our background graphic. We can see the color of the type and the headings and the links down here. So now with a custom style in place for the video panel, next we'll work on the iPad and photography panels.